So you've created a really fun 3D design, but when you go to print it, disaster. You were trying to make a snowman and it looks more like a blizzard, or you just wound up with a bunch of filament spaghetti. So how did that happen and what can you do to fix it? Now, there could always be a problem with your 3D printer and you may need to make some tweaks or adjustments there, but before you start messing with that printer, you want to make sure that your design is actually printable. So let's look at the four major mistakes that will almost always doom your design to failure. The first problem that can doom your print to failure is when not enough of your print actually touches the build plate. Now, if you've ever watched a 3D printer print before, you know how important it is that that print sticks to the plate. If it comes loose and starts wobbling around, you're gonna wind up with a plastic mess. Now your printer has certain features to help the project stick. So for example, your printer bed is usually heated and that keeps the plastic on the bottom a little bit sticky so that it actually stays on the printer plate. Also the printer plate is usually coated with something to help it stick and sometimes you might even add glue or tape to help that out. But if you have very little of your print actually touching the plate, none of those things can help. Take this snowman for instance. He looks really good here in Tinkercad. And if I open him up here in my slicing program and go ahead and slice him, if I slide this slider down and see what that first layer looks like, you can see there's just one little tiny speck that actually touches the build plate. There's no way that tiny speck can hold the whole snowman in place as it prints. Even things that are generally flat on the bottom, if they get slightly rotated during the design process, they can have this issue too. So if I import the box into my slicing program and slice it, if I drag the slider down to see what that first layer looks like, I can see that only a small sliver of the box is actually touching the printer plate, which is going to cause a big problem when I start to print it. And sometimes I may just have something that is very tall, but when I slice it and look at that first layer, I can see there's actually very little touching the build plate to hold something that long while it prints. So now that you know what the problem is, how do you go about fixing it? Well, for my snowman, I can make him flat on the bottom. So I just used a box hole here in Tinkercad I can group that together. And now when I go to slice it, I can see that I have a nice big round circle on the bottom, so that will stick well to the plate. And of course, it'll also make it possible for him to stand on my table instead of just roll around. Now for my box, that can actually be very difficult to fix in Tinkercad because I'm not quite sure how many degrees it got rotated. So that will actually be easier to fix in the slicing program. So in the slicer, I can see that it's slightly off the plate. So I'm going to just tell it to place on face. So this button here means place on face. I'll click on that and then click on the face that I want to be on the printer plate. And you can see how it moved it down just slightly there. Now when I slice it, I can see that I have a big flat area on the plate, which is what I wanted. And with the tube, there was actually nothing wrong with the design itself, but it has very little contact with the printer plate. So to help that be more likely to print without falling over, I have an option here to turn a brim on. And if I check that box, what it will do is put a little skirt or brim around the outside so that when I slice it, you can see it gives it just a little bit more contact with the plate to make it less likely to fall over. So we fixed the snowman so that he has plenty of contact with the printer plate. But if I tried to print it, it would still make a mess. So let's look at the second mistake that will almost always doom your prints to failure. And that is making something too thin. So you probably noticed that my snowman has a brim on his hat. But look what happens when I slice my snowman. That brim disappears. That's because the brim is too thin. 
So if I actually look at the hat and click on the brim, you can see that the brim is only one hundredth of a millimeter thick. Now a millimeter is already a very thin amount and now I've divided it into a hundred parts and I have one of those. So that is so super small the printer just can't print that. So to fix it, I just need to click on the number and make that something larger. So now you can see that when I slice it, the brim will show up. Another time when I see this problem with making things too thin is when I have small text or small lines in a design. So you can see here I've added Frosty to the brim of the hat using small text. But look what happens when I slice it. Those letters disappear. So you can see a few little specks on there where the letters are, but I couldn't actually read the letters. So anytime you get ready to do something, make sure that it's thick enough that your printer will be able to print it. If you slice it and see that it disappears, be sure to go back and make it larger. So I've made sure that my snowman is flat on the bottom. I've made sure to thicken the brim of his hat, but if I tried to print it, it would still make a mess. So the third mistake that I always have to be careful about is to make sure that all the pieces are completely connected. Now, if I look at my snowman from the side and zoom in just a little bit, you can see, uh-oh, the eye is not actually touching the head. Notice I couldn't tell that from the front. That's why it's super important that I look at my project from all different sides and zoom in to any problems that might be problematic to make sure that everything is touching that should be touching. So you can see what happens when I slice this. The eye is not touching the head. So when I go to print it out, it's going to actually print the eye separately from the head and just make a total mess. So how do I fix it? I'm going to select the eyes and use the right arrow key to move them into the head this way I can see that they're completely attached to the head. And this time when I slice it, I can see the eye will be attached to the head like it should be. Now the final mistake that will almost always doom your project to fail is trying to print something on top of nothing. So if I look at my snowman from the side, you can see his carrot nose here is actually floating in the air. There's nothing holding it up. So when I slice it and I see when it begins to print those layers for the nose, it's trying to print them on top of thin air, which gravity tells me is going to cause it to crash down to the plate and I'm going to have filament spaghetti and a big mess. I can also see that the brim of the hat is being printed over thin air. So I have both of those problems. How do I go about fixing them? What I need to do is turn the supports on. So here I have an option for supports. I'm going to tell it to put supports everywhere. This time when I slice it, I can see these little green tree branches that will hold those pieces up while it is printing once it's finished printing, I can break them off and I will have my handsome snowman. Now, your supports may look different depending on your settings, but their goal is the same to hold those plate pieces up while it's printing and then you can break them off when you are done. So those are the four mistakes that will doom your prints to failure. So as you're designing, remember, make sure that you're going to have good contact between your print and the printer plate. Number two, make sure that you don't have super thin pieces or lines. Number three, make sure all your pieces are completely connected. And number four, make sure you're never trying to print something on top of nothing. So hopefully this will give you more prints that look like this and fewer that look like that.